this uh, episode, uh, we kind of collected some quirky and weird races. Uh, we raced BMW's M Power SUV, the X5M, with 555 horsepower V8 twin turbo SUV. Uh, we also raced the uh, Rolls Royce Phantom, also by the way, with a BMW engine, V12 turbo engine. So, some races mostly for fun, but uh, they like that on YouTube and hopefully you like it as well. Gustav Super Races shows you the world's fastest cars put against each other in adrenaline-filled drag races. Gustav runs a successful YouTube channel with soon over 200 million views and a great reputation within the world of racing. In this show, he will present the best races he's ever organized with rare supercars from Bugatti, Koenigsegg, Ferrari, and other top brands. These races share a unique look with the raw performance of the world's fastest cars. Uh, just as the Porsche Panamera Turbo and Porsche Panamera Turbo S, you have the Porsche Cayenne Turbo and Cayenne Turbo S also 911 Turbo and 911 Turbo S. If you really are not satisfied with your Turbo, you can always go Turbo S. This is a Porsche Cayenne Turbo S, the second generation, which has 550 horsepower instead of 540. Uh, it will be racing a stock Audi RS4 Avant with a six-speed manual gearbox compared to the Cayenne Turbo S automatic gearbox. Notice how what happens at speed with this huge SUV. Okay, Cayenne Turbo S base lifted versus Audi RS4 50. Jag kan inte för långt efter men ja. Se, jag kan se till när jag ska dra. Dra. Det startar att spela en jävla roll. Men vi tog in på honom. Om vi hade gått lite mer så hade vi. Men det blir svårt. Det snabbare hastighet blir svårare på den här. I den här racen har vi den standard BMW M3 sedan, fyrdor, limousin, vad du säger. Med en dubbel klutch, DCT eller DKG, gearbox i German. Det är en fantastisk package car, väldigt väl balanserad. Men i en straight line kanske inte den fastaste car, men still ganska fast. It does 290 top speed on GPS if you delimit it. I tried it personally myself. We match this against the BMW X5M, which is the X5 with a V8 and twin turbo. The engine that the M5 engine is kind of derived from, the V8 twin turbo. The M5 have other turbos, etc. Anyhow, it has 555 horsepower and super lots of torque and a fast automatic gearbox. So we do a roll from 50 km per hour and try to beat this M3. We almost make it. This was one of the first events I had. I had this owner with Audi RS4 Avant coming up and raced uh, 
One of the first cars he raced was the Mercedes ML63 AMG, 6.3 liter V8 in a massive SUV. He was kind of let down after this race, so next time he came to my race, he had a GT3 RS. And the year after, he had the LP560. The year after that, he had the LP574. Um, Performante and uh, also Audi R6 with 730 horsepower. So this little defeat in the start here put a little mark in this owner's mind. So he stepped up after this. Ja, det gick bra där ändå. Ja, för fan. Det är en... Vi ska åka på åkern sen också. Ja, precis. Då ligger vi ut i gräset där. Just precis. Då, då är den ännu bättre. Ja, tre färs också. If you have a Range Rover and you're not choosing the diesel version, if you choose the supercharged version, the 510 horsepower, I kind of approve you. You're an enthusiast then, because it will consume two liters per 10 kilometers, but you'll have good acceleration. We match that against the X5M, the direct competitor to BMW. So we did a re-race with the BMW X5M and the Range Rover supercharged with 510 horsepower. I was kind of astonished the speed the Range Rover had in the corners when I chased him with the X5M. It was a fun race. It was 
This time we wanted to try a car that the Range Rover could kind of beat, for a while at least. So we took a heavier, the convertible version, which is heavier than the regular 911 Coupe. And uh, it was a 997 first generation Carrera and matched against the Range Rover. Uh, have a look. So just for fun I wanted to try the BMW X5 M with its 555 horsepower versus a real sports car, the 500 horsepower Porsche 911 Turbo PDK with double clutch. It's super fast double clutch versus a really fast automatic gearbox in the X5M. But as you can see, it's a not, no contest. If I would choose, I would have X5M for the winter and a 911 Turbo PDK for the summer. So we did a re-race with the Porsche 911 Carrera 2S convertible 997 Mark I generation versus the Range Rover Sport supercharged. Uh, the Range Rover was ahead for a while. Utan spärren det har varit intressant faktiskt att se. Jag tror att det är inte skit som är jävla mycket. Du vill ihåg ju åtminstone de sista 150-200 meterna lätt. Ja, jag gör det. <laughs> det, är, det är lite skär med de här stora bilarna, för det blir ju lite roligt liksom. Davids kamp mot goden. Ja, men verkligen, verkligen. Det här är fantastiskt. The Audi S5 Sportsback is a beautiful car. It's like a coupe but a four-door. 
You can go to MTM with it down in Germany to have the ECU program to make somewhat more power. Uh, the S5 Sportsback also have a double clutch with super fast shifts. We matched it against the X5M to see what the difference was. Out S5 Sportsback with XMM. Det är väldigt mycket grus här så att du... Det är det, ja. Halva sträckan här är jättemycket grus så att... Här kan du hålla det rätt så lugnt. Så vi har den relativt snabba Audi R8 V8. Which... With sequential gearbox, is, uh, it's like as fast as an Audi RS4, or a, a bit faster, but it's not the fastest car speed. You really should have the R8 V10 for uh, some real performance from, from the R8. Uh, but we raced that against the Rolls-Royce Phantom, a huge car with a BMW V12, and it looks 10 times larger than the R8. We thought uh, it could stand a little chance. Let's uh, have a look. Hey, uh, your pimp! Pimp! Ska jag ta höger eller vänster? Vänster. Ska du ruta ner först? Ja, jag styr den här. Det är bara köra, köra om och om. Is that a, a pimp-mobil? This is a pimp-mobil. Pimp How much? Hello! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Så vi har kört, eh, vi ser till, det är viktigt att du eh, bara startar, så här, att du startar lite, lite före honom för att han kommer kanske, eller ja, försöka få en jämn start rätt som sagt, på fattig. Vet fan, det kommer ju fan vem som kommer vinna det här, så. Det är intressant att se. Ja, här är det nog vi som vinner det här tror jag. We have the Toyota GT86, a really like drifter's car. The question is if it's a highway car as well for accelerations. Uh, we thought it could stand a chance against the Rolls-Royce Phantom because the Phantom is really large as an oil tanker. Uh, and uh, see the result, it's uh, pretty interesting. Okay, now we're gonna do a little race with the Toyota GT GTA i86 and blink in the whole light and so it's on the right side, so it's exactly versus Phantom. Okay, yeah, try to. Why can't you start after? Let's go up a little bit in front so I can just see him. A little longer, a little longer, a little longer. Let's go a little more.
trash talk on them. So, that was good, right? Woohoo! Epic fail. Let's overtake him. I think we could catch him in the corners. So, what, what, what's that? Is this a, a yacht? Sorry. Is it a boat or a yacht? No, it's a yacht. Yes. It's a princess. Uh, <laughs> princess yacht. Floor it. <laughs> Gustav Super Races shows you the world's fastest cars put against each other in adrenaline filled drag races. Gustav runs a successful YouTube channel with soon over 200 million views and a great reputation within the world of racing. In this show, he will present the best races he's ever organized with rare supercars from Bugatti, Koenigsegg, Ferrari, and other top brands. These races share a unique look with the raw performance of the world's fastest cars.